the spreadsheet here for digital marketplace kind of developing the strategy and see the getting started video if you haven't watched that yet this spreadsheet really is kind of just a collection point for me I just collect all the information I want about the services I provide so you'll want to see the other videos on getting started and setting those up so I'm not going to go into that right now but these are just some of the services that I offer um, at Technology Milestones. So for businesses, you need to define what that is for you. So let's just kind of walk through the spreadsheet and why I have the columns that I have in the spreadsheet. So here is the name of the product itself, itself and the search terms. Now the search terms, we're gonna actually go to other videos to walk through how to find those search terms, but we'll just um, assume that these are the correct ones here. These states here, the, the importance of the states is so that you can do uh, location-based marketing. One of the advantages to Google Ads, for example, is that you can specify exactly where those ads show up. So if you watch the traffic patterns, you can see that certain states are more interested than others, which would tend to lead you to believe that those are more customers that will purchase rather than other customers in other areas that may just be looky-loos. Just remember that every time somebody clicks on a link that's in a Google ad, you get charged for it. So you'll wanna fine tune how that is. This is an art, not a science. So there is some science to it, but generally speaking, you're just gonna to have to get creative and see what works for you. So that's what the states column there is. The maximum CPC really is, um, we're gonna talk about this in a minute, but the CPC really is that cost that you're going to pay per click, all right? And I have just these set to $3. Sometimes I adjust them so that I know what my estimated cost is going to be and what the average clicks are. And this average can come from other tools, which we're not going to go through today. Um, it's on other videos, the Google Planner tool, for example, and um, other tools that you can see how, how they're how many people are clicking on things on average. And this is, these numbers are very fluid, by the way, they change. These numbers here change constantly, all of these numbers, right? So we're just taking averages here. We'll talk about that in a moment. The impressions means that that URL came up on a page somewhere, not necessarily, well, it doesn't mean that somebody clicked on it, it just is available for them to click. It impressed the user, right, that it's there. And that's about it. So you can see how the impressions come on different terms that we use in the search engine. This CTR here, CTR is the click through rate. And basically this is showing an average of how, how often people see your ad and end up clicking on it. The CTR can be used to gauge how well your keywords are performing. And CTR is the number of clicks that your ad receives divided by the number of times your ad is shown. So basically clicks divided by impressions, right? So these two numbers equal this number. And the CTR, really what we wanna have is a high CTR. So good to have higher CTR, low a CTR not as good. So you gotta balance this with the cost, right, per click. So this one here, for example, 508 in DC, Notice here, just this line here, not a lot of traffic, only 435 impressions, 21 clicks, right? But um, a good click-through rate, 4.6%, and the cost is actually very affordable at $1.15. This is, this is kind of telling me that, hey, this is a, when people go to this site, they're really interested in taking action. So, so that's good. Compared to, let's just say this one here, which is, um right there infrastructure design well when somebody sees it right now i i don't know why i don't have those in there but when they see it only 1.5 percent of them are actually clicking through and when they do it's going to cost me almost a dollar more now i'm not really sure that that's the best investment or maybe this term is not really the term that i need to be using maybe i need to be using information technology here as you see here that I've got 34,000 impressions and my CTR is 2.3% with a $1.99 cost, average CPC cost, right? Clicks, cost per click. 
So it's something to consider, right? So you just have to, these are all variables that you have to take into your mind when you're thinking about how to invest. This low and top here, um, top, low and high, this means that how much do I have to pay to get the top of the search result? You know, when, when it searches and it comes up right with that ad at the very top of the screen, the first one, that's the, the desired real estate, right? And so there's lots of ways to adjust this when it occurs. And that all has a direct relationship to cost as well. So, and then this average position. So what I take into consideration here is the average position. Notice here on this one, 508 section compliance, the average position is three, meaning I'm third down on the list. This one is one, I'm right at the top of the list. So this is, this looks like a pretty good deal here, right? Not a lot of clicks, but when they do, they're interested and I'm getting advertised at the top. So all things that you need to consider, all points or variables that you need to take into consideration. Now, I just want to say before we leave this, this is kind of where I put all my data. So I'm collecting this data from multiple sites and I'm just consolidating it and dumping it here so that I can easily look at this data. In the welcome video and uh, other videos, we talk about the dashboard for managing this. This is a little different. This does provide the information needed for the dashboard as well as some calculations and things that I use. So this is a good piece of information. Develop it for, in, use this exact example if you like, or develop it in a way that makes sense for you, that you're comfortable with. There's lots of information you can collect and we're all making decisions based on different variables. So this is certainly one perspective on doing that. And um, I, all the best of luck in figuring out your perspective uh, to get this done as well. If you need technology milestones to help you uh, with this task, we're certainly here to do that. And you can reach us at info at technologymilestones.com.